Hi, welcome to Updog Yoga. My name is Emily. I am going to guide you through a yin vin class. So what that means is we're going to hold some poses for several breaths for one section of class. And then the other section, uh, we're going to move quickly. We're going to move fast, breath to movement. And then we'll slow down again as we get closer to the end. So I had to gear up with my Hellfire Club shirt. I actually have sort of a connection, if you want to call it, to the Stranger Things. Uh, when I worked at Core Power in Atlanta, um, they first started filming Stranger Things, and this was before it was a thing, and several people from the cast and the crew took classes, and it was so much fun. Um, and I especially remember I was at the desk checking in people, and then one girl came in and she was like, my name is uh, Maya Hawk. And she said, H-A-W-K-E. And I was like, Wait, the only person I know named Hawk is Ethan Hawk. And I was like, I put it together later. I was like, oh, I guess that's her, <laughs> his daughter. <laughs> anyway, so that was really cool. So fired up for class today. And we're going to start seated. So this is a yoga class, obviously. Let's start seated. Extend your legs out. Big toes together, sit up tall, and if you can also pull the fleshy parts away from your sit bones. Inhale, reach up tall, spread your toes, exhale, fold, grab your feet, bend your knees if you need to, but close your eyes and bring your chin to your chest. Five deep breaths here, slow deep breath in, long deep breath out. So deep breath in, and deep breath out. This is our slow warm up. This is our yin. So, right now we're using our breath and gravity as our warm up. One more deep breath in and deep breath out. I'm already feeling warm. Could be because I'm wearing like full clothes. All right, put your left foot towards the inside of your thigh. Same thing, spread your right toes. Inhale, reach up and exhale, fold. Grab your foot or reach past your foot. Close your eye, bring your chin to your chest. Try to reach the crown of your head to your toes. Deep breath in, deep breath out. All right, change to the other side, sit up tall. This time your left leg extends, your right leg comes into the inner thigh. Spread your toes, inhale, reach up, and exhale, fold. Chin to your chest, try to reach the crown of your head to your toes. Deep breath in, deep breath out. And as you breathe, you wanna make sure that you're taking a full exhale. The inhale will always happen, but the exhale is like, it brings a warmth into your body. And then come back up, this time into tabletop on your hands and knees. So spread your fingers wide underneath your shoulders. This time tuck your toes, inhale into bear pose, and we'll hold and breathe here. So draw your belly in, extend through the crown of your head, look towards the top of your mat, hold and breathe. Push the floor away. You got this. If you're shaking, it's good. It means you're working. Inhale. And exhale, release to downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back. Okay, so your fingers are spread wide. Take your hands as wide as your mat, or at least shoulder distance apart if you don't have a mat. Take your feet hip distance apart, or as wide as your mat. Drop your head, lift to your knees, pedal at your legs. Bend one knee, bend the other. Keep that strong breath. And then come back to center. Okay. Look forward. Walk your feet to your hands. And you can take your feet wide. Grab your elbows. Bend your knees. Drop your head. Gently sway side to side. This is still our slow warm-up. 
And then to roll up, drop your arms down, bend your knees very slowly, come up to standing. One vertebra at a time, your head is the last thing to lift. All right, let's take a moment to ground. So with your feet either hip distance apart or be together. Bring your hands together in prayer, close your eyes, deep breath in, deep breath out. Take two more breaths here on your own. All right, now we're gonna move into the fast flow. And if you get a little bit behind, that's okay. Take this at your own pace or check out the demo. I'm gonna put the demo link below to like what the fast flow means. We'll go ahead and stand at the top of your mat, either feet together or feet hip distance apart again. Inhale, mountain pose, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold, come all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Plant your hands, step back. Right foot, left foot, shift forward, lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. So you're pointing your toes into your mat. Look forward. Exhale into downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, press back. Breath here. And breath. One more time. And we're gonna flow four more rounds, breath to movement. So anytime you need to rest, feel free to rest. Anytime you need to move faster than me, move faster than me. Go for it. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Step your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach up. Right into the next one. Exhale, forward fold. Touch the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Plant your hands. Step back. Shift forward. Lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. That's two. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Step your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Touch the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. That's three. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Still with me. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. That's four. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, step or jump. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, step or jump. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. That's five, slow down. Deep breath in, deep breath out. This time, inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, bend your right knee, open your hips. So kick your foot open, maybe point your toes. Look underneath your left arm, can you see your toes? There it is. Inhale, straighten your leg. Exhale, low lunge. Right foot steps in between your hands. Ground your back heel down, reach up. Five breaths here on the first round. Bend your right knee, straighten your left leg, reach your arms up. Deep breath in, deep breath out. And my pants up. There we go. Inhale and exhale. You can also bring your hands in prayer. All right. Inhale. Exhale. Chaturanga. So right foot meets your left foot. Lower down. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale. Lift your left leg up. Exhale. Low lunge. Actually, no. Pick it back up. Kick. Bend your left knee, open your hip. There we go. Slow it down, I forgot to slow it down. Look underneath your right arm. Can you see your left toes? Inhale, straighten your leg. Exhale, low lunge. Laugh it in between your hands. Inhale, warrior one, come up. Yay, bend your left knee, straighten your right leg, breathe. All right, 
So press your feet into your mat, draw your belly in, inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. One more time, deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. All right, this time we're gonna keep going with warrior one. We're gonna add on as we go. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior one, come up. Exhale, warrior two, back heel down. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time, inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, standing splits this time. Bring your hands down. Float your left leg. Yeah, stay here or handstand hop. Plant your palms, look between your hands, hop up. Keep going. Three, two, and one. Chaturanga or straight to downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, standing split. So hands down, lift your right leg. <laughs> right leg lifts. Stay here or plant your hands. Look between your hands. Hop. Try it a couple more times. You can also stay in your split. And then chaturanga or straight to downward facing dog. Lower down child's pose. Yay, we made it. <laughs> so big toes together, knees wide. Reach your arms forward, rest. All right, come up to tabletop as we cool down. Inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky. Exhale, thread the needle. Take your right arm underneath your left arm, right ear to your mat. Press into your left hand, lean back. All right, slowly come back up, hands and knees. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Exhale, thread the needle. Left arm underneath your right arm. Left ear to your mat. Five breaths here. You'll feel the stretch in your shoulders. Try to stay relaxed. Slow down. This is our twist since we didn't have a big twist in the standing series. Get to have a couple as we move too slow. <laughs> All right, from here, come back to tabletop and downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, half pigeon on the right side. Bring your right knee forward. Stretch your left foot back. So now we're in swan. My toes point down rather than like tuck. Point your toes down. Walk your hands back, find the center of your hips. Now it might be more comfortable to stay up here or it might be more comfortable to fold. I'm gonna leave that up to you. If none of it's comfortable, feel free to come out of it. But soften your face, soften your jaw, slow deep breath in, long deep breath out. 
three more breaths. Now that we're nice and warm, I love this part of class when you're super warm or sweating. This is when my hips are the most open. I'm like, wow, I'm actually flexible here. Because <laughs> most of the day I'm like, oh, I don't feel as flexible as I did before. Okay, we're gonna lean onto the right sit bone, turn to the side. And it's gonna look like where we did this in the beginning, but take it out to the side and move into a side bend this time. So spread your toes, flex your foot, reach your right arm up, look down or look up to the ceiling. Again, let me fix my pants, there we go. Feel that stretch here in the side of your body. I love that stretch. Come back up. Back to downward facing dog. Okay, so you can like roll over to tabletop. Back to down dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, half pigeon. Left knee forward, right leg back. All right, wiggle it back, walk your hands back, or stay up, just do whatever you did on the other side. Just make sure you're not like hanging out over on the side. We will do the side pose later. You wanna find the center. Stay up or fold. Soften your face again, soften your jaw, breath in, breath out. And I like to kind of even though I'm not moving too much, just kind of like lean to one side, lean to the other. You might feel like a really good stretch, like a sweet spot. Breathe into that stretch. Keep your shoulders down and relaxed. And then you're gonna roll onto your left sit bone this time. And your left, I'm gonna turn away from you, but your left, left leg is out to the left side. Hold on, that's wrong. Left knee is bent, right leg is long, there we go. Come into your side bend, reach your left arm up and over, look down or look up. And then come back up, all right. <laughs> From here, you can spin your feet forward, lie on your back. We're gonna do waterfall pose. If you have a block or don't have a block, I don't think I have a block anyway, but if you know that variation, you can do that. Or bridge pose, if you prefer that over this pose. Ugh. Bend your knees, rest your hands beside your hips like you're gonna go into bridge, but then extend your legs up. You can do shoulder stand too. Bring your big toes together, big toes are together. Spread your toes, look up to your toes and breathe. We're gonna take 10 breaths here. So keep your shoulders relaxed, face soft, soft. And if you have ponytails, like it gets annoying here. If it's like a low ponytail. Just stay calm, soften your face, soften your jaw, relax your shoulders again, spread your toes. One of my original yin teachers used to hold us in this pose for like five minutes and the last minute my eyes would just be crying it wasn't me crying it was just like i was shaking so much it was just so much um endurance to stay in this position for a long time all right that's somewhere close to 10 right i'm already shaking all right hug your knees into your chest gently rock side to side Thank you so much for being here. It is so much fun teaching this channel. And I've had such amazing comments the last few weeks. I'm like so surprised. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> what happened? You see, it's just mean comments. And you guys have just been, everyone on this page has been so nice lately. Thank you so much. Let's keep it up. Let's be nice for the world. All right, drop your knees over to your right side. Let me scoot to the middle so you can see. Drop your knees over to the right side. So your hips go to the left, knees go to the right. Reach your left arm out, look to your left hand. And again, soften your face, soften your jaw.
try to slow down. And then switch sides when you're ready. Roll into your back, drop your knees to the left. Hips go to the right. So if you need to scoot your hips, you can do that too. Hips to the right, knees to the left. Reach your right arm out, look to your right hand. Take a few breaths here. And it's up to you if you want to bring your knees closer to your face or further away from your face. Ooh, one feels good for me, one way does not feel good for me. I'm going to go with the one that feels good. Ooh. And then we'll move into our final pose. We're going to take 10 breaths here. You're welcome to take up to five minutes. Hug your knees into your chest. Bring your forehead to your knees. Inhale. Exhale, release. Drop your head. Stretch your legs. Get comfortable. Get all the wiggles out. And then drop your arms down. Close your eyes. Soften your face. Soften your jaw. And imagine you're melting onto the floor. Come back to your natural breath. Find some stillness. You can imagine yourself from a bird's eye view, looking up at you from the ceiling. And then please stay here longer. If you'd like more time, you are welcome to light on as long as you would like. If you're ready to come up, wiggle your fingers and toes. Stretch your arms over your head. So you have a full body stretch and then gently roll to one side. You can make a pillow out of your hands. Oops, rest your head. And help yourself up. So press into your top hands. Okay, come up to seated. Come into a comfortable seat or easy pose. Hands to your knee, close your eyes. Take a few more breaths on your own. One more moment of stillness. With your hands in prayer, let's close with our breath. Deep breath in and exhale it out. One more time, deep breath in. Exhale, let it all go. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. Namaste. The light in me honors the light in you. Many blessings to you this year and great job. Yay, we made it. Thank you so much for being here for this full class. This was a tough one, so thank you for making it through. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm here in the comments. Uh, check the description below for like private links and all that fun stuff. My TikTok channel, Facebook page. I'll see you next time. Bye.